now taking part in development camp as a coach. So Gio, thanks so much for joining <laughs> us. First of all, what was that like for you to be a part of development camp from the coaching side? It was definitely weird uh, being a part of, uh, you know, those practices and whatnot as a player uh, to be flipped on the other side of it was definitely a new experience for me. And uh, as I'm sitting here trying to contemplate where to go uh, with my career and, and uh, whether it's at the end or not, uh, it, was, it was good for me to get my foot in there and kind of see what that was all about. Brian, with that development camp, uh, where's your focus for the future? Still skating, uh, trying to catch on maybe with an NHL team or do you want to focus on that coaching side? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Uh, I've still been training, but, uh, you know, I had a unique year last year and with the Olympics and uh, signing with Boston late and had a ton of fun, was able to be around my family a lot uh, last year. And so uh, the main focus right now is, is, is my family, my kids, and, and trying to figure out what's best for everyone involved. And, you know, I've had a, a great run and uh, played a long time in the NHL. And if this is the end, it's the end. Uh, but, I'm, you know, we had a mutual thing with the Sabres to kind of we talked and said, you know, why don't you come out for uh, development camp and see how things go and and see where you want to be and, and keep the door open and keep the communication open. And uh, it was a great experience for me to have. And uh, I appreciate uh, that opportunity as well. And what a great opportunity for some of those young players to, to be around a guy like you that led that team for so many years and did so many good things both on and off the ice. But what was it like for you to get a look at Rasmus Dahlin up close and personal? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, first of all, you have to put it in perspective. He's an 18-year-old kid, uh, but he's got a ton of composure. And at a development camp, uh, you want him to stand out. You want him to be your, your top player, and, and he was. And, uh, you know, I, I think the future is bright for the, the young kid, and um, he seems to have his head on his shoulders great and uh, he's got a ton of talent ton of skill and uh, you know obviously he'll be given that opportunity to, to show it next year. Brian if you did go to the coaching side uh, what would you be your style? What, what, <laughs> <laughs> you've had a lot of coaches over the year a lot of players uh, what would you try and impart on these young Buffalo Sabres? Well I'm not sure it's uh, you know I think you gotta like anything else uh, you're coming into your own you're trying to find your your niche your groove uh, maybe your voice as a coach or, um, you know, maybe on the development side, maybe it's a more of a mentoring side. I, I'm not quite sure uh, where to explore right now. And I think uh, last year being able to skate with the Amherst was a good step in trying to figure out where I wanted to be. Um, uh, training with those guys all season long, being close to those guys, kind of being a mentor to some of those guys was, was big. Um, whether you want to be a part of it day to day in the coaching aspect, I'm not quite sure, but, I think you got to find that voice, uh, find your way, find your groove. It's just like being a rookie uh, all over again. There are a lot of lean years for Buffalo, seven straight years now that they've missed the playoffs. And I know you were part of uh, the rebuild, the struggle there in Buffalo. They want to see a team get back to the playoffs. So with all the, the changes that we just mentioned, the additions and the subtractions, what are your impressions of the Sabres going into this year? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, with the management changes uh, last summer and, and the coaching changes again last summer, uh, they had to come in and, and figure out what things were, where the organization stood, how uh, the players stacked up, where everybody fell. And I think now you see uh, Bottle taking his steps, uh, making this his own team, uh, and moving it towards the future. And uh, with the moves they made this year, obviously they're they're trying to get better, a uh, little younger, a little faster, and uh, Darlene helps that. Um, but the depth is the biggest thing, and I think they're trying to address that right now. Brian, in that development camp, is there one player that maybe stood out to you? Besides Darlene, maybe. Besides Darlene, yeah. Leave Darlene. We know that Darlene's probably going to be a generational player, so uh, we'll leave Darlene off that list. Yeah, I mean, obviously Samuelson was another big name coming into that camp, and uh, I, I'm probably going to butcher his name, Palut. Uh, Palut uh, there was another young kid, uh, you know, defenseman that, you know, he showed a lot of great promise there. Um, but like I said, it, it's about developing those kids. It's about giving them a chance uh, and for them seizing that opportunity. But, uh, you know, obviously you want uh, some goaltending to, to hick up and, and pick up there. Um, but, you know, I think that's what all marks there for, too. Drew, it looks like you have a pretty sweet office set up there at home. <laughs> Can you tell us a little more about what's going on with you this summer and your, your off-season plans? Yeah, enjoying the lake. Uh, I'm up on the lake out uh, just outside of Rochester and. We're right on Lake Ontario, and so we've uh, actually had a great uh, – since the kids been out of school, the last month has been unbelievable. The weather's been awesome. The, the lake has been calm. 
So we've been uh, kneeboarding with the kids, tubing with the kids, uh, throwing the jet ski around with them, um, just enjoying lake life with the, with the family. Well, enjoy every minute. Thank you so much for the time, and uh, have fun this summer. Thanks. Enjoy. <laughs>